dad in the barn, you know, from the from the get go. It was always in your blood, uh, you know. From a barn dance, from the barn dance. Yeah. Uh, yes, my dad was the leader of the my dad was the leader of the band, and and uh, in Vermont where I live, uh, barn dances were quite popular when I grew up, and. And when I say barn dances, that's exactly what they were. I mean, there were there was often cows down below, and the band played in the hayloft, and and we were one of those. And my dad had the uh, Saturday night gig at a certain place called Buzzies, and every Saturday night we'd load up the Studebaker and off we'd go. And so I grew up I grew up watching my dad on that stage until I was six years old when I got to stand beside him, and uh, and I've pretty much been on the stage ever since. And um, Yes, my dad was certainly a huge influence uh, on my music, and and I suppose in who I am. And uh, my dad still, my dad still graces the stage, and uh, I still get a chance to go watch him once in a while. And um, so it's uh, definitely a huge part of, of who our family is. Music has has played a role in and and uh, who we are as a family, and and certainly in what I do. Yeah, because uh, in, like in Chapter 8 of your book, When Nashville Calls, in 78, you just recorded a song at 16 years old. It got on the local radio. And all of a sudden the phone rang, and they asked your dad. And, uh, you know, in, in the book you describe very cool. It's like, uh, Wayne Warner, did I do something? You know what I mean? Uh, am I okay? You know, is I looking for my dad for me, you know? And you were a little confused. Yeah. And your father looked it up, you know, 6, 615, 615 area code. And they learned that number was a that's, Nashville producer who had heard his son's that's, record that's, and wanted to produce. That, that's right. He had heard. That's right. It was a big time Nashville producer. He was he was producing several hits on Waylon Jennings and, uh, at the time, and uh, and Waylon Jennings was the flavor of the day at, 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 at that time. And and I guess there was something in this in this boy's voice that he. He, he, that intrigued him, I guess. And away we went to make my first record. And I was 16 years old uh, when I made my first record in Nashville. 15 when I made my first record uh, in my home state of Vermont. But yeah, 16 years old when I walked into the first Nashville studio and played with the big boys. And it was, uh, that was the introduction of a whole, of a whole new universe for me. I was going to say a whole new world, but it was a whole new, whole new universe for me. And, uh, and wow, uh, you know, we started this interview by talking about a journey and, uh, wow, it's just been a journey ever since, uh, still going on, you know, right now into the, into the pages of a book, you know, it started, it really started with that phone call, Tom, um, that's still going, you know, it's it's taken some detour, it's, it's taken some pauses and it's taken some detours, but now, you know, it's literally taken into this into this book and uh you know who would ever have thought it you know and um but that's the way it goes and you know i think everyone's life is a book i don't think i don't think mine is any more interesting i think everyone's is different mine is different and i hope people can can visit it you know it's nice to visit different um but i think everyone's got a book in them and and um and it's really nice that uh that people want to visit mine because it's it, you know it is it's different but um I'm a fan of everyone. I think everyone's got an amazing story to tell, and I think we could all learn from each other and how we how we how we survive challenges in life. I know we've all we've all got them, and if we can all learn from each other and how we how we overcome those obstacles, and uh, I just think that would be a great thing. And and I would, in fact, I would I would challenge everyone to think about it. You know, I, I know that when I was first. Um, introduced to the idea of writing a book i i did probably what most people who are listening to me right now would say i was like no that's not going to happen um but uh but here we are you know it did happen and it was it was uh it was challenging and it was um it was difficult in, in some ways and it and it uh it was it made you vulnerable in a lot of ways but but again, I think I think that um, we could all learn so much from each other and how we and how we meet these challenges and how we find how we find the you know the good and and, and all these uh, things that come at us and uh, how we survive and and uh, so uh, and I'm just I'm just convinced that people want to want to turn these pages that I wrote into it. 
I, I literally, every single day, I'm hearing from people who are doing just that with the Backstage Nashville. And I'm just so humbled and, uh, and honored um, by the fact that they just read one word after the other that I, that I, that I put down. It just blows my mind. Um, but I'm also honored by the fact that I was able to write the words that I wrote, you know, about the people that I've worked with. And, um, you know, everyone from, uh, you know, the, and people that I've met from Ben Campbell to, well, to Ray Pennington and to Billy Ray Cyrus and to Alabama, just to everyone that's in there. Um, mm. So it's, it's it, you know, again, it, and the journey hopefully continues, you know. I don't think I'm going to write another book, but who knows? I never thought I'd be writing this one. But all it all stemmed from it all stemmed. You're right from my dad and from those barn dances and from that phone call. It's just, just a continuation of the ride. Buzzies barn dance at Buzzies. That's right, Buzzies. <laughs> I love it. Um, we're running out of time. You have another interview at the top of the hour, buddy. Tell us everybody where we can find the book, oh, Barnes and Nobles, online, everything. Uh, Hot press and what's been going yeah. on to catch you. And if they want an autograph, if they want an autograph, and I, I, I love to do it, go to WayneWarner.com and uh, I autograph them all uh, one day a week and out they go. And I, I'd love to do that because I love to get to know people and I love that connection. So WayneWarner.com, um, I hope they'll come there. But yes, any other place that books are available. Yeah. Um... Good stuff. Let's talk quickly about, we got a couple more minutes, the song. You're in the studio today. I caught a little clip that you sent out, a little audio. You got new stuff happening, buddy. What's happening on the music? I am in the too? studio, yes. yes. Finishing up a new uh, album called Label X. We're going to be uh, in Nashville in the studio on August 22nd, working on the tracks. And my one of my favorite places to be, if I'm not hanging out with my sons, um, that's my... Uh, uh, my zone and uh can't wait to get back in there i'm always in there with some great great talented people and uh yes yeah, so i'm anxious to get the new album out to you and uh and um yeah i was in the studio today and uh when i'm not not when i'm not in the book world now i'm i'm trying to sneak in the studio every chance i get <laughs> yes and and let's not forget the fantastic cd all in fun now that's available everywhere, CD Baby, Amazon, All in Funds, where you're going to find these tracks, Rock and Turbo Twain, God Bless the Children, God for a Minute, Flight Was a Prayer Wasted, all of these stuff. And I've only touched a little bit. Last time with Kathy Stewart, I played a lot of your tracks on there, but All in Fun is Wayne Warner's super CD, too. Well, thanks. Yes, I think that, I think that's wherever you said it was <laughs> i believe so <laughs> everybody knows where to find that good stuff all right buddy let me get you to rest up for your next chat because we're going to come back and we could talk a lot more just touch little bass it's so easy when i was just talking to my brother on the phone about his music and life and and again thank you a couple weeks ago you got touched me and i hey tommy i got a script for you and you got a video and i'll work on that i just a little down i get my little vanity up should i say working out and i'll look better in the video you know what i mean <laughs> what well, I hide behind the radio? Thank you so much, for. my friend. It's always a pleasure to talk to you and to your great listeners. And I thank them. And reach out to me on Wayne Warner Music on Facebook and WayneWarner.com. And and I love to hear from you. And it's always great to talk to you, my brother. I love it, man. And we're ending this God for a minute. Awful, all in fun. And by the way, every I've had friends that have heard this the first time, and they want to know. Who you are, where that song come, it touches everybody right away, if I were God for him. Well, all right, and you know what to tell them. You know it, I sent them right your way, my friend. Here it is. Wayne Warner. All right, bud. God bless. Talk oh, to you I'd be there when you heard it. And when lonely I'm surround you like cold bar. Why? I'd whisper in the wind, say my love was true. Be in every drop of rain so I could surround you. I'd say to never mind the shadow, see the light therein. 
And I'd make every summer night a long weekend And I'd hold up my lighter to Johnny Cash I would pound on the devil, get him off our backs Drink southern lemonade with honest ape And I'd let you know I heard every prayer you prayed And I wouldn't have a day without you in it oh, If I could be God for a minute I'd tell you it's not me that caused you pain But together we get through I'd swear to my own name I'd show you that in every sorrow my heart was there And tears are only souvenirs to love we've shared And I'd hold up my lighter to Johnny Cash I would pound on the devil, get him off our backs Drink southern lemonade with honest aid And I'd let you Every prayer you prayed and I wouldn't have a day without you in it oh, If I could be God for a minute oh. Well, the devil's talking to you He's telling you lies He's messing with your head And he's being prescribed Get it right in the pledge Get it right in the schools Don't you know now It's time to smash those rules I talk to the cross On my rear view Cause every day would be heaven If I only had you God hold up my lighter To Johnny Cash I would pound on the devil Get him off our backs Drake Every prayer you prayed And I wouldn't have a day without you in it Oh, if I could be God for a minute